how much time you were being associated with our care so it took like six months for you for the in entire application procedure and was there any challenge related to your visa related to your admission or anything and then we'll gonna go for the uh, fulda university about the course uh i think uh, it took around uh, six to seven months uh, hmm. when i was associated and when i started my journey with our care that was a COVID time right? yeah that was a COVID time hmm. and uh, I liked one thing really, you know, I would like to uh, give emphasis on one thing and that is that, uh, uh, you know, we were working together. Hmm. So like, you know, you gave uh, me also a lot of uh, uh, authorities like hmm. you gave me the passwords of hmm. uh, uh, UniSS yeah, and Uni maybe other right, portals. Yeah. Other portals as hmm. well. Hmm. And meanwhile, we were looking for the university, especially hmm. for the public universities hmm. as well. Hmm. And uh, around it took uh, six to seven months. and. I think eighth to ninth month I got my admit so you know started you know I uh, got my admit like one after another so I I guess that we uh, how many admits you get because you were being associated with Mr. Yeah. Sharma I remember so right. so how many admissions I think uh, I it was uh, six to seven universities it was six to seven right, universities right. see it was six to seven universities and to be very honest I didn't knew that yeah I just okay. knew about Fulda yeah because yeah. actually I know <laughs> yeah, so you know yeah. we were working together and yeah, then you yeah. were like associated with different yes. students yes yeah. yes so. Hello friends, my name is Mani and welcome with RK Overseas Education. Today we have Siddharth with us and uh, he's studying in Fulda and we requested him to be here. So he's okay. gonna help us for a visit here in Fulda and he's yeah. doing very good here. So we requested him to tell us about the university, about okay. uh, what exactly, which course you are opting because you're going for a German taught program. So this video will be a student should opt for a German taught program or should not opt for a German taught program because a lot of students come here and or and when we counsel the students they're really in a panicking situation that whether we will be able to cope up with the studies or not so this is all about we would be requesting you in this video to discuss and tell your opinion because you learned the german from india and then you came here yeah. and you're doing pretty good so uh, can you please give your yeah. introduction to everyone so hi guys i'm siddharth shah and uh, i'm from india varanasi and uh, I came uh, in Germany like last year uh, in November and uh, like regarding my past experience I would say so I completed my graduation in India and then I completed my masters as well and then I came here for my second masters and between like I worked for uh, four years so I was working with Aditya Birla and uh, then last year like November I came and uh, I'm here studying my masters in international management and it's been almost a, almost a year almost and right now years. I'm yeah I'm yeah. in second semester. second semester yeah yeah so currently I'm having my internship, internship. with one other company yeah so this was uh, brief about me yeah Please. and and so that I wanted to ask you uh, how much time you were being associated with our care so it took like six months for you for the in entire application procedure and was there any challenge related to your visa related to your admission or anything and then we'll gonna go for the uh, full day university about the course uh, I think uh, it took around uh, six to seven months uh, hmm. when I was associated and when I started my journey with our care that was a COVID time right? yeah that was a COVID time hmm. and uh, I liked one thing really, you know, I would like to uh, give emphasis on one thing and that is that, uh, uh, you know, we were working together. Hmm. So like, you know, you gave uh, me also a lot of uh, uh, authorities, like hmm. you gave me the passwords of hmm. uh, uh, UniSS yeah, Uni and maybe other right, portals. Yeah. Other portals as hmm. well. Hmm. And meanwhile, we were looking for the university, especially hmm. for the public universities hmm. as well. Hmm. And uh, around it took uh, six to seven months. and. I think eighth to ninth month I got my admit. So you know, started you know I uh, got my admit like one after another. So I I guess that we uh, how many admits you get because you were being associated with Mr. Yeah. Sharma I remember. So right. so how many admissions? I you think uh, I don't it was uh, six to seven universities. It was six to seven right, universities. Right. See, it was six to seven universities. And to be very honest, I didn't knew that. Yeah. I just okay. knew about Fulda. Yeah, because yeah. Uh, actually I know. <laughs> yeah, so you know, yeah. we were working together, and yeah, then you yeah. were like associated with different yes. students. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So. But, uh, seven university and why you choose Fulda and, uh, and for a German taught program okay so Fulda I chose because um, so first of all my graduation uh, is into uh, bachelor's in business administration and here I'm studying uh, I'm studying my master's in uh, like international management hmm. so uh, that's why like I preferred my you know uh, master's here in Fulda uh, because uh, there is some uh, similarity between my graduation as well as my master's and, and it's a German taught program uh, so. it's bilingual taught program hmm. wherein like uh, 
uh, we have uh, some subjects in German, some subjects in uh, English. Okay. So it's both. And how many Asian students are there in the university at the moment? So uh, currently in the university, I wouldn't be able to tell the exact figures. No, figure. in, in your course. I'm yeah, sorry. in my yeah. course. So in course, I think uh, from Asia, they would be around uh, five to six five percent. Five to six students. Five to six percent. Ah, okay. Like majority uh, are Germans, and okay. uh, like I think around ninety percent. Yeah. And then I think three to four percent is from. Middle East. Okay, okay. Yeah. And uh, are you facing any difficulty while studying because it's a bilingual? You told yeah. me, right? So you your requirement was you did your B two. Yeah. And then you apply to the universities, Actually, right? Actually, my requirement was C one, so okay. I completed my C one uh, from India itself, like okay. B two and C one yeah. from Goethe. Yeah. And then I came here, and uh, meanwhile, it was not so easy in the starting because the professors were teaching everything you know into German, yeah. and then the students as well. Yeah. So in the starting, like you know, I was having a bit of problem. problem in huh. terms of you know uh, responding you know huh. just uh, i need to respond like you know fluently huh. without anything huh. but like after a month or 20 days it yeah. went very fluent with me okay. related to very uh, other so subjects so you grab the yeah, yeah. Uh, education basically right. so yeah hmm. and hmm. meanwhile the presentations were also in german hmm. uh, so the classes you know we were like speaking all the time in german because hmm. my classmates like you know 90% of the people are from you know Germ like the students are from germany hmm. and meanwhile uh, when it comes to indians also so you know they also completed their b2 and c1 hmm. and that's why you know we have built a very nice uh, environment wherein we speak most of the time in german hmm. apart from the university also when we meet hmm. so we speak in german okay. and this really helps us to, you know uh, like increase, increase our increase conversation yeah, conversation and you know it makes us very very, very fluent in german okay uh, so this is a very important point because i have seen personally a lot of videos about lot of consultants who always encourage to learn german from germany yeah. and spend your thousands of euros yeah. so this is your experience i wanted to ask you ki because you learned the german from in india yeah. you did your goethe and how beneficial was it because i personally know learning german from india uh, learning from germany is going to cost you 8000 to 9000 euros plus your expenditure which is almost uh, 500 uh, no 800 to 900 euros a month on Correct. an average yeah. so you're going to spend in a year 20000 euros yeah. and after 20000 euros spending then you'll enter into a university Correct. which is a public university yeah. so rather than doing it why don't you learn the german from india yeah. uh, you know invest your time invest your energy save your money and then pursue your education from here what is your opinion altogether so uh, like first of all yeah this is very true uh, whatever you have said money and uh, it's very very advantageous uh, once you learn uh, german from india uh, at least you know it's it's at least a2 level you know because once you come here then you can at least understand you know what is written on the streets if you go to the supermarket you can say entschuldigung bitte yeah. uh, darf ich mal etwas abholen yeah. so if you say say like this you know uh, darf ich also die tür aufmachen so it will really help you uh, at least a2 to till b1 level otherwise if you are really you know uh, very much interested about the culture and then uh, if you are you know you you are really very much persuaded to study your uh, like uh, masters or graduation in german taught then like any day uh, minimum b2 or c1 level nothing uh, less than b2 hmm. and uh, according to my personal opinion i would say that uh, it's always good to you know complete all the levels hmm. you know up to c1.2 hmm. and after that once you come then uh, it will be very nice uh, for any person to integrate him or herself hmm. and the integration is very much important otherwise hmm. there are a lot of other problems which come for which the comes, with, yes. for, for the lot of students yes, yes. and once you are integrated then you know uh, uh the bits and pieces of each and everything hmm. you know uh, how things can you know can be proceeded here hmm. Hmm. yeah so the problems we would not be sharing the problem because it depends upon profile to profile and depends upon student yeah. to student and there are a lot of problems which we have already shared in past videos but the conclusion is learning the german so yeah. you should learn the german from india save your money save your time that's that's what important yeah. is yeah. and uh, by end of this video i wanted to conclude that uh doing your masters in germany from fulda or from any private uni uh, public university in german is not a challenging part the people who wanted to do it they can pursue right yeah absolutely yes yeah. it's just it, it it just depends upon how much uh, enthusiastic a person is uh, it might be possible that the percentage of uh, graduation uh, would be less but uh, you know there is one other option and the option is uh, that the person can easily you know uh, just get into german like it will take around a year or so but after a year it will really uh, help you know the student to get ma uh, get masters in germany and this is 
is what I did. So I, you know, I like I just completed my German like education first from India itself, and after that I came here, hmm. and then you know I'm studying in German taught program, and that's why it's it's very helpful for it's me to helpful. you know just hmm. to uh, grab understand each and everything to work here. Hmm. So you know once I came here, to started started working and all. So yeah. Hmm. Like okay, this. yeah. So thank you so much, Siddharth. Thank you so much for your time. Yeah. And uh, hopefully, who, whoever is watching this video, it might be beneficial for them. And if you have any question related to Germany, related to living expenditure, or any part of Europe, we would be very happy to help you out. So thank yeah. you so much for watching this video. Yeah. Yeah.